Ah, the 90s classic, of which I actually don't get anymore. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Santa Claus, a 1994 Tim Allen movie about how he accidentally kills Santa Claus and becomes Santa Claus. This is a very strange 90s time capsule movie. I haven't actually seen this movie, if I'm correct, since before the Millennium Bug. So this was a movie that I was going off of pre 10 year old me for memories and ooh, I did not remember a few things in this film. The film follows Tim Allen, a successful toy salesman guy who is not there around for his kids as often as he should be. Takes his kid on for a Christmas Eve even though it his, his son doesn't want to. Tim Allen gives off this impression that he still believes in Santa Claus mainly because his ex-wife's partner is this strange therapist who's just really out there. <laughs> Santa Claus arrives on the roof and they go out and check it out. They scare him and he falls off and dies. This is a kids movie by Disney and there is a death scene right at the beginning of the film. But it's not really a death scene because Santa Claus disappears like a Jedi. He's like Obi-Wan. He just he disembodies his clothes. Up until now, Tim Allen has kind of just done his humor bit. I, I wasn't the biggest Tim Allen fan as a kid. I didn't really have anything against him. I didn't have anything for him either, though. I just thought he was the best as Buzz Lightyear. So that's pretty much what it was for a long time other than Home Improvement. But it's at this point when Santa Claus dies that it dips into the who the hell at the Disney executive office approved this movie. The fact that you have Santa die in your pitch and someone in Disney said yeah already this film's a little strange they go up on the roof and they find the reindeer which are these creepy animatronics these Chuck E. Cheese looking monstrosities Comet has this strange sort of anger and it reminds me of the reindeer that Arnold Schwarzenegger gets into a fist fight with from Jingle All the Way. He puts on the suit and eventually starts to do all of Santa Claus's things, like the horrible CG cartoon effect of him going down chimneys. Yes, this was the 90s. Yes, this had almost no budget, so the VFX in this film look absolutely god-awful, nightmare-inducingly terrible. It's... It's rough. This movie has absolutely no one noticeable attached to it in terms of the production. Yeah, it's got Tim Allen, but that's it. The writers I've never heard of, the director I've never heard of, and the colossal impact it, it has had. And then it brings up its biggest point of, since he's the Santa Claus, his son believes he's Santa. And the film is actually about therapy and trying to prove to the child that his father is not a delusional madman turning into Santa Claus. When I was a kid, I thought these effects were really cool and they still stand up to some point. It's quite funny to see him continually keep growing a beard and keep eating food and he slowly, slowly turns into Santa Claus. And admittedly, Tim Allen's Santa is also what I recognize him most as a live action actor. The Santa Claus is funny enough, one of Tim Allen's most standout roles and I haven't seen this movie in nearly 20 years. So give the guy credit on that. There are some good dark jokes in this film too, which again kind of perplex me because this is supposed to be a children's film, yet there are some very, very adult jokes in this film. For instance, when they're at the take my dad to work day, they have a firefighter talking about burns and then the teacher comes up and says, thank you for your presentation and I'm sorry about your partner. That is such a dark joke. Tim Allen also spouts out a few other ones that throughout the film. When the elves slash children come in, it gets even stranger because the main head elf, this guy makes me think of some horrible boss working his employees to the grind, breaking their bones, making them do literal child labor. Oh, and now I remember the other one. It's when the elf is talking with Tim Allen and they're talking about age and kind of interest. Honey, I'm over a thousand years old. I've been around. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a bit of a risque area to touch now. So just a product of its time. We see him connect more with his son. We see the idea of Santa Claus is no longer an illusion, it's actually a reality to him. He takes on the mantle, his ex-wife kind of gets over it. The therapist guy has a mental breakdown. <laughs> Overall, the Santa Claus is a movie that is a staple mark of quirky 90s cinema. It's a film that a lot of people talk about, but I don't know if as many watch it now and realize just how dated things are, how concurrent other parts are, and also just how strange 
how really, really strange some of the things in this movie are. It was cool to see something that I haven't seen in like two decades. I know the sequels are garbage. It was interesting to see this movie again after so long. It was a nice walk down memory lane, least to say. This is a movie that you could show your kids. I don't know about five or six years old though, unless you've introduced the concept of death to them because this is gonna be a very, very weird moment because it was a weird moment for me even with its strangeness even with its datedness it still has a very wholesome christmas feel to it either way i'm gonna give the santa claus a four out of seven i don't know if i'll watch it again but it's a it's a fun time for for all the other reasons you would expect anyways guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise merry christmas thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.